New this evening, swim teams in Madison County are left high and dry after they were booted from their pool without notice. With everyone's Ashley Carter joins us live from Buckhorn High School now, where the students and coach are heartbroken. Ashley, what's next for them? The swim team here at Buckhorn tells me that the Elmore Gym at Alabama A&M was their home for the last 10 years. They told me that they had just swam in that pool on Tuesday for a meet, and about 24 hours later, we're told that the pool was going to be drained and shut down indefinitely. It scared me, honestly. Ashley Ryan says she's also sad and in shock after finding out the pool she and her teammates used for practice and swim meets was closed without warning in the middle of their season. Head coach Glenn Carr says he and every other swim coach and athletic director in Madison County Schools received this email from Alabama A&M saying the pool will be offline immediately after concerns were brought to them by parents. It's been a sad week and um, it's it's just been a sad week for the for a bunch of swimmers who are asking me, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Where are we going? Have you got us a place yet? Carr says he's been scrambling to find another pool, but he's already had to cancel four swim meets. Indoor pools in Madison County are scarce. I mean, they're they're I can name them off. There's five or six. Carr says the sudden news stings. It's like somebody booted me out of my home. Some of us for swimming, swim is an escape, and it's. It's what we dream. It's our passion. We don't have a passion if we don't have a swim. But the team has found a silver lining during this tough time. It's brought us closer together as a team. Like the people I've talked to, it's given us opportunities to look other places and figure out what's best for our team now that we don't have a place to practice. We'll recover and we'll pop up somewhere and everything will be better. Alabama A&M sent us a statement that said that the pool was closed, but it's not going to affect their students because they have another pool at their campus that the students can use. They did not answer our questions regarding the Madison County High School students who use their pool. Carr says even though he was hurt by A&M's decision, he's very thankful to them for the good 10 years that his team spent. He's hopeful to get his team back into a new location before the Madison County Classic Swim Meet. He said he has considered a few options, but they're either going to have early morning practices or have to drive a lot further. Reporting live in Madison County, Ashley Carter, Way 31 News.